All right, guys, before I get into the topic of this video, I just wanted to show my debut novel, Gods and Goddesses, Children of Ragnarok Cure. As y'all can see, for the paperback, it's only $16. For Kindle Unlimited, it's basically for free. Or if you're buying on Kindle, it's $9.99. Now, this book is a mature dark fantasy, and it has uh, several illustrations in there, some of them that are not safe for work, again, not for kids. And... It focuses on a divine family, uh, basically the children of Ragnarok Kier, or I like to call them the godlings. And as the godlings grow up throughout the book, uh, they learn how to become protectors of of the world while there's a, a wraith blood in the darkest corners uh, plotting to uh, basically uh, endanger the world. So um, it has 596 pages and... I'll be honest, um, I this is a pretty good book, y'all. Shouldn't shouldn't judge a book by its cover, as they you know as the saying goes. But hey, there's a free sample. You get the prologue up all the way up to the second chapter, I believe. And if it hasn't convinced y'all, hey, thank y'all for giving it a try. But um, I just I just hope that. Y'all actually like it enough to buy it, and um, thank you for the support in the future. All right, and also I want to bring attention to here is um, I have a, another dark fantasy, but um, this is a comic which is called uh, Night's Fall Eldritch. Um, it's currently on Twitter or X, whichever you want to call it, and I do weekly updates with um, with uh, pages and. My boy, Nefarious Watcher, is a great artist. Thank you, Neff. And this is just a uh, safer work version. Nothing too crazy, as you all can see from here, what I'm sharing. Um, there's there's going to be some nudity in there. Again, it's not for kids. And I got a couple pages up on here. Just showing it to you all. Just want you all to see. Uh, looks everything again safer work version nothing too crazy not showing anything <laughs> that i shouldn't be and here are the last three pages of the prologue of the first chapter and so again um to reiterate i i update this weekly uh every sunday every sunday that's when i put up new pages and I just go from there. So if y'all are interested, I'll leave the link down below along with uh, my debut novel and just make it easier for y'all. Okay. So since that's out of the way, let's get into the actual topic of this video, which is, uh, geez, Dragon Age. So I don't know what's going on with that. Well, actually, I do know what's going on, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all understand what's going on, but... Uh, I want to show you the screen capture I, I have. Uh, maybe it's a little too... Here we go. So we have this character that some... the player You have the player character. And what it says in the subtitle says, uh, Take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. And you have the options. Of course, this is a Bioware game. A modern Bioware game to uh, emphasize that part and it's shown these are the directions they just th these are the same things that were uh, in Andromeda I hate that anyway so you got the options of um, I'm getting there I love who I am it feels good to see the real me which this is them I guess them forcing like this whole look don't hate, hate, don't hate on a messenger. This is literally what I'm seeing. There's literally like some kind of a um, text below the subtitle and it says establishes a transgender, uh, transgender I, 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 I cannot do, establishes transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options in future conversations. Uh, yeah, so going on to the second part of that, it also has, dude, this is so crazy. It also has other options where it says scars are lessons learned. My scars are ba uh, badges of honor, and these scars are sexy. I, 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 
<laughs> Look, y'all, I don't know much more. I don't know much about the game other than it, it was like, like the first, the first title I had like was Dread Wolf. That was pretty cool. Honestly, I'm I might take that Dread Wolf. That is that is such a cool title right there. Anyway, but then it just mutated into this like complete <laughs> abomination. And that is the Veil Guard, and it's just why, y'all. Seriously, game game devs one on one. I know I'm not a game developer, but still, game dev one on one. Do not do not ruin people's immersion when you're put, when you're dealing with fantasy, yeah, specifically fantasy, as in you know high fantasy and all that, and it's not based. It's not based on like like a Metal Gear Solid type. Of setting where it's taking uh, a a big um a, a fictitious reality in a way and if it's not like that don't don't add this craziness please don't this is just how you get people this is how, how this is how you not get customers but you know i i guess really honestly it's not about the money it's about the message and honestly the message is that uh you guys are going to be shut down as in bioware you're going to be shut down uh you had too many mess ups I, i'm surprised you guys lasted this long honestly and um you know it's a self-inflicted wound as arthur flex said in joker you get what you effing deserve and i'm not gonna feel bad about it but okay besides all that i kind of also want to show you guys this. I found this on uh, Twitter. I find most of my things on Twitter, honestly. And this is like a comparison video. And it's by uh, Learning the Law or Manga Lawyer. And what the tweet says is, uh, here's footage comparing Dragon Age Origins to Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Media outlets are heavily promoting the new, uh, the new game as the ultimate RPG. You can't even insult anyone. The dialogue has changed to be friendlier, so non-fictional characters get their feelings. Uh, characters get their feelings here. I guess I say, oh, so no fictional characters get their feelings here. I'm reading way too fast. Alrighty, let's let's full screen this. Dragon Age is about dominating the battlefield. It's about that moment when you charge, that, that tension of not being certain, and then seeing your characters slice heads off, throw spells, set things on fire, until essentially you bring it to a crashing close and say, yeah, this one I won, now I've got 400,000 more to go. Dude. Oh, I want to go back to that game. I want to go back to that game. With a lot of conflict going on, and now when we start off Dragon Age Origins, a blight, is these dark spawn rising back from under the ground are coming to consume the earth once again, and this is what you're fighting against. Yes. Farewell, mother. Oh, Morgan. Not forget oh, the boy. stew on oh, the fire. <laughs> I would hate to return to a burned down hut. <laughs> it is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I. All I meant was. Yes, I know. No one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are, except... No, no, I don't hate it. It's uh, really nice. Uh, temperature. I won't be upset if you don't like coffee. He really wouldn't. I know, but... Ugh, sorry. It's just this thing I do sometimes. Acting so people will like you? That sounds terrible when you say it like that. Yeah. No, I don't need to do it. I just do. Sometimes there's an additional option that's meant to be like the angry option. But what the game does, and this drove me fucking nuts, is it takes the edge off the dialogue option you've selected to make it something more friendly. Like this clip when some asshole bureaucrat barges into the conversation making demands. And I want to say, who is this fool? Because that would be an antagonistic thing to say that might result in some conflict. Instead, here's what Rook actually ends up saying. Who is this? This is Governor Ivenchi. They have concerns. What? How? Oh he no! Like oh no! So this is gonna so Mass Effect, the new Mass Effect, already the new Mass Effect is gonna be in trouble. And anyway, the premise of it is even stupid too. But it, this is 
do. They don't have the backbone anymore. Cost. They fell that hard, huh? Okay. Aren't you curious why Tosh likes them? Oh, as much wait, as like wait, them? wait, 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 wait. No, I'm sorry for doing I. Oh, God. That's the Quinori right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, dude, dude! These modern, most of these uh, modern developers, I swear. Even the artists that work at these companies are just. And I'm not trying to blame all of them. I know it's like corp corporate interference as well. That's a big part of it, but I, I truly do believe it. This is a Bioware problem. I don't think it's EA. I think it's just a Bioware problem. And I'm kind of remembering the, the Dragon Age um, um, animation movie. I think there's two of them. I think, but I never watched. I never watched it. But I do. I did hear about some uh, reviews about it. I, I should look it up. I should, but I don't want to delve too much. Just why Tosh likes them as much as you like. This is true, dude. What is question. up with these soft-looking faces, dude? Like, what, what is up with these features? Why do they look so soft? This it's not I it's not like Fortnite or anything. It's just it's like is no one <sighs> crossed my mind? And maybe they're talking about you know scars are sexy and all that, but then it's like these guys have like baby faces. What is going on? I thought Dragon Age was like this dark fantasy, and then but yet we get stuff like this that looks very kiddish almost this is this is this is a total this is totally insult to dragon age or to origins to an inquisition the inquisition wasn't supposed to succeed how the way it did but it did <laughs> oh my gosh this is madness all right so Getting getting that out of the way, I I want to share one more thing with y'all, and this is um the ratings it got. If I can pull it up on time, you know, here we go. So here's the reviews: Dragon Age Veilguard uh, reviews, CGM five out of five, five out of five, Eurogamer five out of five out of five. I cannot speak today. Xbox Era ten. Uh, press start 10, game rant 10, but why though 10, tech raptor 9.5, IGN 9, games radar 9, cog uh, connected 9, dual shockers 8.5, push square 8, the dexter do 4 out of 5, the gamer 4 out of 5, VGC 3 out of 5, VG 247. <laughs> Uh, three out of five. MC eighty four. OC eighty five. You know, I think the only honest ones I've seen are probably the VGC and VG two forty seven. But even then, I what, what can I say? There's a reason why we talk about game journals the way we do. Ah, Godspeed to him. <laughs> All right, so that's enough of that. That abomination. Yikes. And uh, I'm going to end this video and probably just wash my eyes out because um, I don't know what exactly happened. All I know is that it's Bioware is infected, it's infested, really. And now they're trying to work on Mass Effect. Basically, Mass Effect 4. I know there's Andromeda, but this would be this technically would be Mass Effect 4 because they're trying to continue after Mass Effect 3 and not do a not like trying to do like this uh spin-off sort of thing. And as I'm just like, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> like there's no point in going back there, not really. But I may be pleasantly pleasantly surprised, but you know, look at this Dragon Age the Veil Guard. And seeing how these dialogue options are not even, don't even have a backbone, and you're just, your character is just being soft, really. Yeah, I, I mm -mm. can't do it, y'all. All right, that's the end of it.
Ciao.